Hi everyone. So in this video, we will learn what is function currying in JavaScript. So let's get started. So function currying is simply a process of converting a function which takes multiple parameters into a function which takes one parameter and returns a function. Let's see how it actually works. Let's have a basic customer structure here. Link to a style sheet. Script file will be at the bottom, which is script.js. We need one div element, one button. Let's make it get. We need one h1 element. Let's make it result. Go to style sheet. Select body element. Text align will be center. Select div element. Display will be inline block. Select the button. The display will be inline block and padding will be 10 pixels save it open this file in the browser and this is the output now what i want here i will create one function which will add two numbers in the javascript file and on the click of this get button i want to display the total here let's go to javascript file let's select the button Certainly btn get select the h1 element let's make it result add event listener to the button event will be click here the handler function let's create a function to add two numbers so let's make it a and b and it will be a plus b here the result of inner text will be equal to this function's result so let's pass here four and five okay save it go to browser click and this is the output now for example if i want this value of a to be a static number for example 4 5 6 7 then instead of having this function i can create one more function here okay i'll make it add 4 okay we don't need this a now because the value is fixed it is 4. now we'll call this add 4 method and we'll simply pass the 5 output will be the same see uh, let's make it 10 so we'll get 14 great now I also want one function where the value of a should be 6 not 4 so just copy this let's make it 6 same goes here 6 so instead of calling add 4 I can call add 6 so result is 16 again suppose in the future i want it to be 8 so i'll end up creating one more function and it will become 8 same goes here and we'll end up calling add 8 here result is 18. so you can see we are creating multiple functions here just to have a static value of a we can fix this issue with the help of function curring so in function curring a function will take only one parameter so let's make it a okay and it should return a function so it will take a b parameter result will be a plus b so this is function curring now let's see how we can use it just delete this part so we'll create a variable here add 4 and we'll call this function add with the parameter 4 now result dot inner text will be equal to add 4 call and here we can pass any number for example 6 and the result will be 10 save it see again if i want somewhere in the future it to be six i can create one more variable here i'll make it six 
same goes here and here it will be 6 save it we'll get 12 in case of a 8 you can make it 8 here and call the add it method save it see so we don't need to create multiple functions here we can achieve the same result with the help of function curring i hope you got the point how it actually works see you in the next video have a nice day